Chris, Chris, Chris. Dude, I've got amazing news. I mean, it's probable news, but it's still good news. Go on and spill the tea. Okay, so you know how uh, I asked Marcus the other day to go ahead and find some files that I accidentally deleted? Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> All right, so a position that I interviewed for just opened up. And I swear, if Skynet ever takes over, I'm done for. Now that's juicy. Juicy? You know what? It is juicy, and if I get this position, I can just ride my bike to work. <laughs> you better ride. <laughs> you know what? It is better to ride for me. I could add cardio to my day, save on gas, save on, on emissions in the air. You know what? It is good for me. Get it, sis? Chris. What? Just because I identify as the gender that I was assigned at birth does not mean you get to go around calling me a sis. That's rude. I don't go around saying, go get it, gay. Josh, I was talking to Trent. This damn fool got a problem. I don't know what he's talking about. Is there anything you want? Can I help you? Just need my foot surgically removed from my mouth. Where were we? Where'd Marcus go? He went to some interviews today. Really? Yeah, he don't want to be sleeping on the couch all day. I don't want to sleep on the couch either with no privacy. <laughs> okay. You were at the gala. I need all the tea. Now, there's a tall, dark, chisel art critic that you thought was catfishing you, but happened to be at the gala. And the real deal? Yes, girl. And if he's offering to take you on his private jet to Bora Bora, Tahiti, and the Grand Canyon Islands? That's what I'm telling you. You better take this man up on his offer train. All right, girl. Well, I gotta go. I see you here tonight. Look, I'm sorry. You have to deal with Denise alone today. I've already pulled a double tonight and tomorrow, but you know I'll be there. I know. You don't gotta tell me twice, but what I will tell you is if Denise opened her mouth at me sideways tonight, she's gonna be one of our patients. <laughs> Go on with your bad self. Look, get to work. I gotta get ready because Kavan's on his way. <laughs> wait, wait. Your brother, Kavan? As in Kavan Kavan? Yes, my brother. How many Kavans do you know? Speaking of tall, dark, and handsome. Watch, watch yourself. yourself. Get to work. Bye, Mus. Bye, Trent. Bye, Chris. Tell your brother I said hi. Boy, if you don't get off my phone. Boop. Now, Denise, let me holla at you. Did, did you just boop me? <laughs> that child, something else. <laughs>
had a child today. <laughs> so what's new? Uh, nothing much. Um, still trying to get this acting thing rolling. I got into a commercial the other day. That's how we do it. They didn't decide to use my image. So I got paid for the day, which is good. But I don't have enough for my bills. And I'm in this course. That guarantees an audition. It's just... $2,400. <laughs> what was that? Uh, $2,400. $2,400. $2, yeah, but guarantees an audition. About this guaranteed audition. Okay, so look. They send in this well-known acting coach, and they work with you on scenes, and then at the end of it, they send in high-end casting agents. High-end. High-end. Up at the top. What was that? Nothing important. Let me get you your money. <laughs> Still keeping money in the mattress? Yeah, just like mom. I really appreciate this. No problem. Uh, you mind if I crash here tonight? Sure, make yourself at home. You will have some company though on the other couch. I don't mind. Everything's good though. It's okay. I gotta get ready for work, but. Mi casa, su casa. Thank you again, bro. Absolutely, bro. not here. He's never here. Tell me about it. You are... Oh, that's right. Sorry, where are my manners? Come on. And it's a pleasure to meet you... I'm Marcus. Marcus. So, are you here for Chris? Or... No. <clears throat> He's my brother. Damn it! What was that? Um, none. How are you? Stop my toes. Ah, you okay? Yeah, my. Yeah, um, he's just letting me crash here for the night. I'm guessing you're the friend on the couch? Yep. Joshy boy! Get up! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I just came by to talk to Chris. Um, I actually got a class later in the evening. Um, I didn't expect you to be back so soon. Oh, I had a half day. I had some shopping to do. Huh. What's up, Hannibal? Marcus? What's good? Josh? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be job hunting today? Aren't you supposed to be minding your business? How's it going, man? It's going. I'm either... Overqualified or overcovered? <laughs> That's pretty funny. No, it's not. Tell me about it. I haven't cut my hair thinking it's gonna make a difference. Afternoon, Marcus. More interviews today? Sadly. You got it. You'll see when we go on for this. Thanks, Gus. As for you, Josh. What did I do this time? Everything seems in order now, except you left this in my car. Now I have to take the toll road so that I won't be late. Don't forget to buy wrapping paper and don't mess this up. Hey, come on. Hey, Kelsey. Kelsey's looking good. Yeah, shit. Wait, what? I, I know, man. It's just every time I see her, I get chills. They'll multiply. Oh, see, I'm the one that's about to lose control. I don't understand how you're so into my sister, man. Does she still play for the home team? Yes, Kevon. Yes, she's still into women. She's missing out. Oh, see, I'm not doing this with you. So, how's the acting thing going? This, this, this good. I got paid pretty good, actually. Ooh, I'll be right back. Did you eat the leftovers? What was that? 
Keyson Carroll strike again. Yo, Josh. What's up, man? With everything going on, I got a little extra cash. Want to get some drinks tonight? Yeah, I'm down. But what about your class this evening? Oh, I just found a cheaper class. It's in a few hours. Nice. It's not as extensive, but actors get their own auditions anyway. I'm going to be one of the greats, man. <laughs> yeah, you are. After your class, I'll pick you up. We'll go grab some drinks, okay? Sounds good. Part. Oh, nasty man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. What in the gamma gamma drunken profess is going on here? Oh, this? Not my house. It is not my house. This? Oh. I thought you worked a dump. I did, but I was coming home in between shifts to eat and check on Come on. He's right there. Last night was rough. Oh, I can smell. Oh, I can tell. tell. Brush <laughs> my teeth. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. More to sleep here. Oh, I hate when you do that. Oh, my head hurts. You have no idea how true that's about to be. Get your ass up. Oh, uh, since you're here, um, I, I know I already asked you for money earlier, but because of that commercial, I couldn't go to uh, work and I got fired. What in the unemployment history? That's the third time this year. I know, I know, but... But what, Kavon? I... You know what? When Mama died and Dad walked out and everybody disowned me, I took good care of you. I did everything that I could to make sure you were okay. I believe in you, but I cannot keep holding you up afloat while I'm drowning. Chris, wait. Ah. You okay? Oh. No, I'm not okay. I'm, I, I just lost my job and I have to keep asking my brother for money, and honestly, I'm so tired of doing that. But I cannot keep a job and be in auditions all day long. Aren't there online auditions? I can do that, but I'm tall and I'm black. So they're gonna cast me as a gangster. My brother raised me to have a really good life, actually. I don't know how to rep a set. What? I, I'm, I'm a nerd, dude. I like acting. I like film. Like, I, I don't know anything about banging, ganging, or dope slanging. What are you talking about? I don't know. Obviously. <laughs> I guess I want people to see me in a different light. I guess that's just really hard to do with convictions. Well, Two things. First, listen to 90s rap music. That's how most of the kids learn how to be gangsters anyways. Second, take a lesson from your brother. What do you mean? 
By the time I met your brother in college, he had already named, made a name for himself by sacking a quarterback every single game. Yeah, of course, this started the joke that he wanted to hit the sack with every single quarterback, but through convictions and elegance, this giant, sweet, sassy man changed the way people thought about, about him because he could run through you like a freight train without brakes. He was a beast on the freaking field, man. My brother was a monster on the field. <laughs> yeah, he was. I didn't think he'd become a nurse. I just figured he got tired of disassembling people on the field and wanted to put them back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't make him mad, though. Trust me. I know. <laughs> you know what? There was a janitorial position opening up at the clinic, and you are going to apply. Not only apply, but you're going to learn how to clean up your mess and other people's messes as well. Maybe just seeing other sick people will make you change your ways. Sounds and good. I'm not taking no for it. Sounds good. Look, I'll take him in later after he showers. You don't want him smelling like alcohol for his first interview. Thanks for talking to me, bro. Yeah, no problem. Shh. Your brother helped me out a lot in college. It just seems like a natural thing for him to take care of others. Yeah. Just don't eat his ice cream. <laughs> Tell me about it. We accidentally ate some the other day. And you're still alive? Barely. That damn bro. <laughs> what happened? I'll tell you in the car. Come on. It's not like it followed you, right? How did you know? I've been telling people for years! Hello, I'm looking for a Denise. I'm supposed to fill out an application. She's gone for the day. You're stuck with me. Have a seat.